In the previous video, we learned about data gathering and cleaning of the data. This video will cover the splitting of the data for training and testing, a bit about NLP and the importance of feature algorithm. As you can see here, I have used train test split function from model selection library provided by sklearn to actually split the data into training and testing. As you can see here, the parameter test size defines how much data will be split into testing and training. For example, 0.25 means 25% of the data will be used for testing and 75% will be used for training. Now we will learn about NLP and the importance of feature algorithm like TF-IDF. Documented or text classification is one of the important and typical tasks in supervised machine learning. Before going through TF-IDF, we will talk about extracting feature from the text file. We will be using bag of words model for our example. Briefly, we segment each text file into words and count the number of times each word occurs in each document and finally assign each word an integer. Each unique word in our dictionary will correspond to a feature which will be a descriptive feature. Now this can be done in two ways. The first one is TF which is term frequency. Basically it is counting the number of words in each document. For our example we will be using TF-IDF. TF-IDF stands for term frequency inverse document frequency. It is a measure that evaluates how relevant a word is to a document in a collection of documents. This is done by multiplying two metrics. How many times a word appears in a document and the inverse document frequency of the word across a set of documents. I've used the TF-IDF vectorizer function from the feature extraction library provided by sklearn. I've used few of the parameters here if you can see for example, ngram range, min df, max df, max features. And then I've created the object for the tf-idf. Few of the features like max feature, which donates how many words will be used as a feature. Now, the next step is to fit the training data into this feature and also the test data into this feature. In the next step, we are going to analyze what are the unigrams and bigrams provided after the TF-IDF feature is implemented. So for example, the most correlated unigrams provided for each category are here. And similarly, I have printed the most correlated bigrams. So this actually means that these particular bigrams and unigrams are most correlated to this particular category. Now, we save the training and the test data as pickle files which will be used in the next video when we implement the machine learning algorithms. In the next video, we will cover running of multiple ML algorithms to find the most accurate one. We will discuss in brief about the different ML algorithms used to predict and find accuracy, find twinning the parameters to increase accuracy, cross validation techniques to better train the data. See you in the next video.